Hey guys, we gotta talk about crypto because a lot is going on in the market between Cardano breaking through $2 per coin, which is the first time it's done this since about April or May of 2021. We're seeing Bitcoin and Ethereum stay above a couple of key support levels and things are looking great in the market. But in addition to this, we're seeing a lot going on with institutional investors that not a lot of people are talking about. A brand new report came out from one of the big four accounting firms, KPMG, which shows surprising data of the top one 100 banks across the entire world what they're doing with crypto and also what their plans are moving forward so we're gonna go over all of that but before we get into it i want to let you guys know the reason i didn't do a live stream yesterday was i was supposed to be taking a flight but they wouldn't let me take my dog tugboat here on the plane with me even though they let me travel to where i was going in the first place a couple weeks ago so i had a get a rental car now i'm in the middle of like a 10 hour drive but i thought i'd just stop here um for to walk the dog and get a quick video out to you guys um, while I'm on the road. So if you guys appreciate that, well then please just like the video, subscribe. And anyway, let's get into this report. So first thing is with this new KPMG report, they came out and, and did a study on the top 100 banks um, by assets under management. And what they found is that right now, 50%, 55% actually, of the top 100 banks by assets under management have some involvement in crypto already whether that's direct or indirect investments they're saying 55 percent of all banks across the entire world have at least some exposure to crypto they said 25 percent of these banks are actually already starting to figure out how they can allow their clients to invest directly into crypto how they can um, keep and store you know custody accounts for their clients crypto so that's big news but the thing that i found even more surprising about this report is in the report they talk specifically about how right now in terms of 2021 in 2021 between january and june of 2021 there's already been over 8.7 billion dollars invested into crypto this is through venture capital um through mergers acquisitions through what else any sort of investments this is in total from financial institutions 8.7 billion dollars and the surprising thing about this is this was about 550 investments made and that is more than double the amount of money that was done in an entire year in 2020. So in 2021, in the first six months of 2021, according to the study, more than double the amount. So $8.7 billion was invested in the first six months of 2021, while only $4.3 billion was invested in all of 2020. So right now we're seeing a lot of great things in terms of technicals for crypto. We're seeing Bitcoin stay well above, you know, the $40,000 per coin. We're seeing Ethereum stay well above $3,000 per coin. We've seen Cardano officially break above $2 per coin for the first time in months. And things are looking great in tech in terms of technicals, but we're also seeing institutional investors continue to pick up how much they're investing into crypto. We talked about the other day how institutional investors since the beginning of August have started to invest more heavily into crypto than they have previously. They said since the beginning of August, a new study came out and showed that the transactions of over $1 million for Bitcoin have increased by over 10% just in the first I mean, couple of weeks of August. We've also seen that since May, that over $12 billion has been invested directly into Bitcoin by whale accounts. So right now, there's a lot going on with crypto. Institutional investors are not backing down. They're really doubling down on their stance in crypto right now. And for anyone who is concerned about the market, yes, it's always possible that we could see a correction. But the bottom line is, is institutional investors are just getting started. They're just getting started getting into crypto. And all the trends show, all the studies show that they're not slowing down anytime soon. And they're ultimately just gonna keep picking up the speed that they are investing into crypto and you know start rolling out new crypto features so anyways i just want to get this out to you guys let you know about this new kpmg report i'll link it down below if you guys want to see the whole thing i am still on the road but i just wanted to get this out to you guys i'm in the middle of my like 10 hour drive back home hope you enjoyed today's video hope you have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next episode